Hello, this is May the 4th, as in May the 4th be with you. And unless the timetable gets changed, today I am at school where um, I'll be working in my little bubble and I've organised a Zoom meeting for you for one o'clock for anyone who wants to join. So make sure that you get in just before one so that we can start on time. My six children who are due to be there with me will be in there. Right, I've been into school to help Mr Cook get the paperwork he needs to open up. So I've got some resources. However, I want you to continue doing your own handwriting, letter sounds and heart words because why not? You know what to do. At the moment, we are learning about D, G, E, G, E. We know that the long spelling goes with the short vowel sound, edge, 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 odge, edge. For example, I might want to write the word sludge, sludge, yucky, muddy substance, sludge, s, e, a, j, s, l, a, j, d, g, e, because it's got the a uh sound there. I might want to write the word um, madge, madge is a name. Madge, m a j, m capital M. It's a name. A short vowel sound. J, d g e. Handwriting would be a thing, wouldn't it? I might want to write the word rage. Rage, that is an anger so intense you almost can't even control your own actions, but you're still responsible for them. Rage, r a j, r a, long vowel sound, so the short spelling, g e, rage. I might want to write the word mage, as in a magician, mage. M A J Mage M A long vowel sound short spelling G E Mage When I was what's now called TKT I was um I taught in there in what was then called Room 16, which is a class closest to the teacher's car park. Um we called ourselves Sagacious 16. And um, sagacious means very clever and wise. Every class had a, had a um, name that went with their number. So wonderful one, terrific two. I don't know what three was, can't remember. Thrilling three. Um, we were, for our worker of the week, we had sage of the week. Sage is a person who's very, very wise. Sage. Sage. Age. My mum used to make a Sage of the Week certificates to give out. Often they'd have owls on them because owls are supposed to be wise, but hmm, I don't know. Let's read them. Sludge. Oh, that handwriting. Madge. Rage. Mage. Sage. Right. Are you ready? Dodge. Cage. Fridge. Sludge. Wedge. Huge. Hinge, and just like in previous spellings, because there is another letter with the vowel, you don't need the D. Hinge, you don't need that long spelling because of that letter there. Badge. Rage. 
Madge. All right. Ready? I say, you say, finger spell. Right. Make sure you pause. You can look back if you need to. Ready? Dodge. Cat. Cage. Can't read my own writing. This chair is noisy. I need to replace it. Fridge. Sludge. Huge. Badge. Make sure you've got a B. Rage. You may be able to hear my cat doing her early morning run around. She enjoys that. Right, read those back to me. Please write the sentence. I wish I had a huge fridge. I wish I had a huge fridge. <laughs> right, read that back to me. Today's story is called Teasing Dad. Just kidding. Never work with children or animals. Teasing Dad. Rachel and Sam played on the beach. Sam made a ditch. D. Rachel made a big sand castle. My ditch is going to come all the way up to your castle, said Sam. Mum came to look. That's a very good sand castle, she said. Look at it, Dad. I'm going to take a photo of it. See Dad having a nice rest there? Sam got some water for the ditch. Dad's not looking, he said. He's asleep. Let's wake him up. Rachel saw the bucket of water and she laughed. Yes! Don't do this to your dad. Just don't. The water went all over dad. Oh! shouted dad. Oh! I'm all wet. Who did that to me? He jumped up. Look out you two. Here I come, he said. Rachel and Sam ran. Dad ran after the children. They ran fast, but Dad ran faster. Got you, said Dad. Look at me, he said to Mum. I'm all wet, and now my two naughty monkeys are going to get wet. And they did, whilst Mum took the photos. Now I guess it'd be a lot of um, selfies in there too. I wonder what's going plop just behind Dad. Clean thoughts only. We're going to find out tomorrow. Right, see you then.